Hey guys, welcome to the first video on how to install MageWire into your Magento 2 instance. Um, for this video, we're using a basic Whova team. If you don't know Whova, go to whova.io and find out more about this awesome theme. So next up, we're gonna install MageWire. And for this, we're gonna use Compose 2. Uh, require MageWire PHP MageWire. So Mage or Composer 2 is a lot faster than Composer 1. So if you're not using it already, check it out. There we go. Let's install it into Magento. So we're doing a setup upgrade. And after that, we're good to go and start creating our first component. So for this, I already created a uh, little demo module and I just created it in uh, the app code directory. So when we're going to PHP Storm and open up our file browser, then you can also see a controller with a action inside of it and i also created a little route just to go to the controller action next we're going to create a first component which we're going to call counter so we're going to create a root folder which we're going to call magewire this is best practice and inside of it we're just going to create a component so this is gonna be a basic increment and decrement counter, nothing fancy, uh, just for demo purposes. PHP, we're gonna give it a namespace, magewire, demo, magewire, and the clauses counter, which is gonna be extended with our MageWire components. So this is a default component, and in the future there will be added more of these. So to store our count value, we need a public property, which we're gonna call count. And by default, it has a value of, well, let's say 100. Right. Also, we're gonna create a increment and a decrement function. There's our increment, and we also need a decrement. There we go. So a decrement should decrement the count value, right? So we're gonna say count minus minus and the opposite inside of increments plus plus so it will increment or decrement uh, the count value with one right cool component done let's bind this component onto a block so the basic concept of magewire is that you have a block inside of your view front end layout and we need a layout file so this is going to be called magewire which is the routes then a controller and the action and we should be good to go i got some boilerplating here which we're going to paste in and we're going to reference the container content so all the blocks inside of it will be rendered automatically. Next, we're going to create a block with, well, just name it whatever you want. In our case, we're going to say magewire.demo. Well, counter. And we're not going to give it a template because magewire has this concept that if you wire a magewire component onto your block, without a template assigned, it will search inside of your templates forward slash magewire folder. And it will look for a corresponding naming 
So in our case, it will, will look for counter.phtml. We need to wire up the block and we'll do this by giving it an argument, which is reserved for magewire only. Argument name magewire. And by giving it a argument magewire, we're telling the layout system to bind the component onto the block when it uh, finds a magewire naming. Um, in this case, we're not gonna bind additional data onto the block, so we're just giving it a type of object. And, well, we need to pass in the whole namespace of our count components. So that should be mage wire and counter. There we go. Layout structure done. Next, we're gonna create our view file. So inside of our front end, we're gonna say templates forward slash mage wire. And it will look inside of this mage wire folder for a counter.phtml. So let's create it. Counter, whoops, PHTML. So because this is a magewire component, it always requires a root DOM element. So for this case, we're just gonna use diff. So the first element inside of your view file will be used to wrap um, around your magewire component. So if you add another diff below this diff, it won't be inside of your component. So remember that. Um, well, let's go forward and fill in this view file. We're gonna create a button and we're gonna wire click this. So this is new, wire click. And when it gets clicked, we need to fire the increment method, which we created inside of our component. So we can do this uh, two ways when we have um, some additional arguments for this method, we can fill them in. But for now we don't, so we're just gonna say button and well, that's it. And the label of this button is gonna be a plus. Um, in the middle, we're gonna use a input with a type text, and we're not gonna give it a value. So we're gonna use this mage wire concept, or better spoken, a live wire concept, where we can say wire model. So this is a wire, mage wire, live wire directive. And we're gonna bind it to uh, the count property. So this is two way binding and just close the elements. Next, because we also have an increment, we need a decrement button. So let's create a button with a wire click directive and we're gonna say decrements with, well, just a minus label. Save it. And well, we're almost good to go. Uh, before we can view it inside of our um, Uval team, we first need to flush our caches. So we're gonna clear this and we're gonna say magewire or uh, bin magento. And well, let's flush layout and block HTML. And just to be sure, the full page cache. This shouldn't take too long. And there we go. Boom. Well, let's see what we built. So here's our default Viva team. And when we navigate to Magewire demo, it should show our component. And there we go. So we have our plus button, our minus button, so our increment and decrement, 
and the value of this input is 100. So when we change the value, like the default value of this public property inside of a component, it will change this value as well. But for now, we, we assigned 100, so it should be good to go. Well, let's test it out. Increment, working, awesome. Decrement, also working, great. So let's change this to like, well, let's change it to 102. Increment, oh my God, it's changing. It's decreasing. Well, we just created our first little simple counter component. I hope you enjoyed the video and well, see you in the next one.